Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dave here with Go Gamers, and today we're going to look at this PS4 Slim that's having this insert and eject issues. So let's go over to the upper cam and see what we got going on. All right, as you guys can see, we have a PS4 Slim, and this PS4 Slim is having troubles taking in this. Actually, it doesn't take in this at all. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to be able to do a quick, simple repair on this one at home now obviously you're going to need a couple tools in order to be able to get this fixed as well now this can usually be caused by a couple different issues it could be something simply just stuck inside the blu-ray drive um, one of the spindles or one of the um the rollers could have popped off which is most common which is what happened with this one so it could be usually a, a couple different things or it could be a bit top chassis so we're going to open this up and I'm going to show you guys what's going on now. Already got this thing pretty much opened up. You just pop off this top and this is easy to take off because this console was actually dropped. So um, it broke the top section of it. There will be two Phillips screws right here, two Torque T9 Torque screws right here. We just want to pull those up. Um, and also, I want to, want to let you guys know we before you can pull up that power supply unit on this side right here there's going to be one screw right here that you would have to unscrew in order to be able to fully pull up that PSU and you'll pull that up there'll be a torque screw right here a Phillips and two Phillips right here you can snatch this up now if there's tabs like how this one had this one has tabs you can yank this up from right here some models the earlier model ps4 slims didn't have tabs so you won't need to worry about that but this one right here actually had tabs so you will have to pull it up and that's just, that's just there to deter people from repairing their own game consoles um so as you can see right here we have our blu-ray drive that has um two phillips screws right here so i'm gonna find my screwdriver and unscrew it All right, so as you can see, here we go. This is the top section of the chassis. So you can see it's not bent. As you can see, um, typically what happens is when you drop it up top, this kind of bends out of place. I can move this around freely. Make sure this is able to be moved around freely. Make sure the spring is in here as well because sometimes that spring can pop out. As you can see, the spindle is in there. So this top section, the top section of this chassis is good now. Look at this. You guys can see we have our two rollers. This is popped up, and we are missing our middle, um, our middle piece. So let's pull these rollers up, and you can just take it up like that. We're gonna look for our middle piece and try to figure out where it's at, and get it back in there. So we got the other roller out. So here we go. I was able to get it out. Um, so obviously, as you could tell, I mean, it obviously broke in there. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to just clean up this area with a Clorox wipe because you could tell it's pretty dusty in here. So I'm just going to get this area clean before I put those spindles back in here. Got that pop back in there. As you can see, this section had popped out of here. That always needs to be in there. So if this pops out, just pop it back in there and that will pop in there like that. So as you can see how this needs to be, it needs to be just like that. Yep, there we go. So that's exactly what it needs to be like. So hopefully you guys can see, I don't know the camera is kind of um, focused, but that's how it needs to be. All right, so we have our Blu-ray drive, I cleaned around the fan a little bit as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spindles, I'm going to take my Clorox wipe, and I'm just going to go around and clean these um, rollers with the Clorox wipe. So they are both clean. I'm now going to take a dry towel. I'm going to just dry them both off. The reason why you want these rollers clean is to make sure that when you 
get it back in there, it doesn't does it fall off. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put one roller. We're going to slide it in there like that. We're not going to push this side down just yet. Before we do that, we want to put the, the white spindle in the roller. Then put this side. We're going to have it. We're going to connect this over there. So I'm going to, I just connected this to this side. All right. So as you can see, this is connected to this side. And that's in there like that. We're going to press down right there now. Press down right there now. As you can see, it now spins. Now there's a lever right here. You can be able to use to test it. You push it down. You push it up. And you see it spins. And when it spins, it goes down. It spins the other way. It goes up. Leave it in this position. And we're going to put our top chassis back on there. And we're going to plug in our power supply and test to see if this now can take in this. All right, so we have it put partially back together with just a power supply on the game console just so we can be able to get um, power on it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this disc inside of it. As you can see it beeps, it turns on. And it takes it in just fine. Let's wait to see it spin. And as you can as you can see it spins with no friction you don't hear any loud noise no screeching noise which will usually signify that this top chassis will be bent which make that less this less is all that is level and um, everything is working the way it's supposed to be working as you can see it's still spinning we're not hearing the disk drive stop it and keep on going and try to eject the desk and pull it back in which would signify that um, there is a blu-ray la laser issue um, now it's time to inject it and as you can see it injects perfectly fine So this was a console that we was able to take that wasn't able to take in Any disc at all and is now able to take it in just fine. All right guys I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If this video did help you guys out Make sure you go ahead and leave a like if you have any additional questions, please let me know down in the comments below um, Also, if you are brand new, please subscribe to the channel Let's try to get some more subscribers on this channel But besides that, I hope to see you guys on the next video and I'll see you guys on the flip side. See ya